This portion of today's video is brought to you by Public Lands. Public Lands is a new kind of outdoor store. They're trying to empower everybody to get outside. They have the newest gear, rentals, and expert advice. Oh! Along with many of you, Public Lands saw what I criminally did to this camper. I was thinking about weight distribution and not a lot of math was involved. They reached out, wanted to help us completely deck this bad boy out and show you what they have for selling their stores right now. Starting with no other than a Blackstone 22 inch girdle. That's not a girdle, that is a <laughs> griddle. 22 inches, whole shebang. Next time I catch a fish on the Shenandoah, I'm boat flipping onto a steaming hot Blackstone. Don't want any recurring themes. I want to get a picture with it there if you don't mind. They also sent me a couple pairs of shoes. These are extra tough water shoes. Pretty sweet. I guess socks and flops are not always the best. They're also a carrier of some of my favorite fishing brands, Shimano Reels, Guggen Squad Rods. Pretty much every fishing brand you can think of they have in store. We got a Philo inflatable backpacking pillow. One of the best camping pillows I've ever laid my head on. Also Carhartt makes this fluffy, super warm blanket called a rumple. It's kind of fun. They also have their own clothing line, which I'm not gonna lie. It's really comfortable. I feel warm. I got a pink shirt on. Haven't wore pink since high school. My confidence is going up. Public Lands has not only pimped out the Shenandoah, but they've also committed to giving 1% of all sales to the Public Lands Fund, which supports organizations protecting new lands, preserving existing lands, and furthering access and equity in the outdoors. So make sure to join Public Lands Hub to earn rewards and points for every purchase. There's also exclusive discounts if you join. So shop now at publiclands.com. Thank you for sponsoring this portion of today's video. We're going spillway inflatable boat camping. Oh, I hit my kneecap. We are currently headed to one of my favorite spillways I've ever fished. Possibly my favorite fishing hole on the entire planet. And we're gonna be camping in the Boston Tea Party. Only problem with this specific fishing hole is there's small stretch called the Widowmaker. There's these short, shallow, jagged rocks that just rip props off. It's like a, their full-time job down there. After we make it through this cut, pretty much smooth sailing. Some of my favorite fish to catch here, shoal bass, catfish, channel cats, largies. Probably gonna be one of my favorite camping trips we've ever done on the channel, but first, gotta try not to make my wife a widow. Tell me if you see any big rocks beneath the water. I got you. Yeah, you're not even looking. <laughs> oh, God. Tell me if there's a rock right in the middle of those ripples. Right in the middle? Oh, yeah, keep going. Keep going. Left, left, left. Uh, well, oh, that one? Don't turn that way. Yeah. That one? Yep, yep, yep. That's right. Oh, we're right in the middle of them. Oh, I'm so sorry, girl. That did not sound or feel good. Wasn't well, pretty, but we're pretty much through it. And there's definitely another rock we're gonna hit. Oh yeah. Just like to test the water depth with my prop. Oh god. Oh. Sorry, girl. I got you. I got you. Oh yeah. Kill switch almost killed me. <laughs> so it just wouldn't let go of me. Oh, I just got drowned by a kill switch. That would be the most ironic thing ever. YouTuber killed by kill switch. Oh. oh, dude, wow. That prop definitely just lost a few coats of paint. Spillway camping, baby. If we made it through those rocks with the boat, I don't know if this thing's poppable. I feel like that's probably the number one words you don't say when you're in an inflatable boat overnight. Boat, but I've been getting insane confidence with this thing. I know this 
boat in the back of the truck though, and we said, dude, I don't want to spend another night unless it's in this Boston Tea Party. So, so we're about to get to my first fishing hole. I've actually free dove here before. I've never reached the bottom. Wow, that just did. And it's been known as the Catfish Hotel by locals. I've caught one four or five pounder, but I know there's a giant down here. I would love to catch up a catfish. I really been wanting to show Tommy my uh, my new spicy fish sandwich, so hopefully we can make that happen. Oh yeah, girl. Oh, I'm so sorry I choked. Sweet. Oh man, I genuinely have the best job on the planet. Oh. Tokyo drifted into the perfect boat park I've ever had in my life. Most perfect, whatever. Grammar's for people with actual jobs. So, we have a little cut bait, Carolina rig. The deepest hole in the river that I know of. And the empty tummies, so fingers crossed. Perfect. Ah. Ooh. All right. Maybe they're feeling a little bit more slack water today. Ooh. I really would love to catch a couple little spotted bass. Put a little food on the table tonight. Come on, two pound spot. Oh, had a good bite. Set the hook like I had carpal tunnel. Oh, baby. That's not a keeper. Pretty little fish. First shoal bass of the trip. Cute little fella. See you, buddy. In case you were wondering, those fish are pretty much endangered, so if you eat those, you're kind of the spawn of Satan. I want to catch a fish so bad. Catfish bite has been pretty sluggish. Bait's been sitting in that honey hole for 30 minutes. We probably have 45 minutes till that water's affecting the water level down here. I'm gonna try to make it up to one of my favorite little areas. We grab two fish for dinner. Hey there, buddy. Nice size turtle. We catch shoal bass, we're gonna release them. We catch spots, we'll keep them. We catch a white bass, prefer not to eat those, but I will cook them. Ooh. Right there, 20 more yards. See if there's anybody hanging out right before we get there. I know there's a fish right in here. Oh, golly, I thought I had a giant. That's kind of embarrassing. Made my tummy tingle bad. My mom. Wow, that was close. Here we are. Come on, baby. Be a spot. Be a spot. Oh, I don't know. No. It's not a keeper. Second species. Not an eater. Let's see, buddy. He hit it like a ton of bricks. I tried so hard. Ha! Ah. Good gracious. That could be a keeper, baby. That could be a fish, Sammy. Oh, yes. 
don't be a showy. Be a spot. Be a spot. That, my friends, is a shoal bass. Oh, never been so disappointed to catch a rare species. Beautiful fish to catch beneath the spillway. Just not the right one. Whew. See you, buddy. Oh, dang it. Okay. I need some more stable ground in my life. It's like the rocks are camouflaging themselves. Golly, dude. Whew. I tried to catch some type of catfish bait or food for the night all i could catch was shoal bass we got about 20 minutes till generation hits need to seek some seek some firm ground oh yes just put the points right down into her we're headed to the other side of the river i'm hoping wow that we can get over before the current gets too strong to fight it in the inflatable boat. There's a sandy little beach right on the other side of the river that the water doesn't really rush too hard. It's kind of a calm water eddy. I think it's gonna be the perfect spot in camp. I'm gonna get the boat there for the sunset. Hopefully come across some dinner. We have some backup Sammies just in case crap hits the fan. Boston Tea Party has been rough on us when it comes to nice sized fish. Man, that was a good investment. They were supposed to start generating an hour ago and the water level hasn't changed. Sometimes they just randomly switch it. Kind of like an April Fool's joke. Surprise, water's coming up an hour later. convenient not having to set up camp for the night just unzip and snuggle up attempt number two at dinner Woo. yes i feel like these pools have to have little fish oh i see them moving good gracious come here buddy come here buddy Sholy. I got me a fishy boss. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, got him. Not again. I'm creating a bad name for my family out here, but just caught another shoal bass. Typically, these small pools have a bunch of small ones, but I'm hoping we can find a deep little hole. Maybe get a spotted bass. Wow. He was fired up. Didn't appreciate the hook to the schnoz. Could have been a virgin mouth. Could have been his first, if you think about it. Whoop. This has to be the most scenic place I've ever caught fish. So cool. Even if we don't look up on dinner or catfish bait. I love coming up to catch these fish. They're so pretty, so unique. Got a little spunk to them. And you can't complain when you're fishing a place like this. Serotonin levels are high. I think we need to wander through this hydrilla, whatever it is. Hello! Tomorrow morning, the game plan is to pick apart the entire spillway. Flip a jig, topwater bait, every little crevice of this bad boy. Hopefully, we can hook into a giant sholey. My personal best is right under three pounds. Sholeys don't get to be that big. Ooh. Pull back. Up. could be good oh yes that's a decent that's a decent oh yeah come on buddy oh man it's so shallow i can't see him in that glare oh showy for sure get off that log buddy i got light pound test come here don't spit come here buddy Yes, nothing to write home about, but a beautiful fish. Wow, he is gorgeous. This is one of the few places you can catch these fish. The spillway just puts the perfect amount of oxygen. I know I've said that a million times on the channel. It's a little nerdy, but it's who I am and I'm not ashamed. 
show bass, baby. You caught a show bass? I don't know. Maybe you should look in the oxygen. Let's get a release. Woo! Trying to eat your foot, Tommy. Woo, he's a little pain. Might not be dinner, but still exhilarating. Feel like shrimp. Are you kidding me? What is that? Oh my gosh. Good fish. That was the weirdest hook set of my life. Come here, buddy. It's an even bigger show. Like, come here. Tell me them. Yes. <laughs> wow. Look how chunky that dude is, man. Absolute foosball. Also got a little parasite hanging on him. Go ahead and get that off of you, bud. Dude, he crushed it. I didn't even feel the bite. I just lifted up my rod. I just felt like it was hung on a rock. So fat. The perfect day, man. Perfect day. <laughs> Dude, they just come for the camera lens. I don't know what it is about this species. They just prefer to be off camera, man. Are you kidding me, dude? Gah. The shoalies are on right now. It is ridiculous. Tiny little fella. He just spit up a crawfish. Sorry to ruin dinner, bud. We'll catch another crawl. The generation has finally hit us. Took a little bit longer to get downstream than we anticipated. We have packed up gear. We're headed back down to the boat. We're trying to make it there before the current gets too crazy. Yep, sure. Woo! Deep. Good? Changes so fast, man. Oh. Wow. We just ate some sandwiches on the roof. Watch the water rise. It is crazy how much the river changes in about an hour. All the rocks we were just climbing over, all those calm little pools where we were just ripping into some fish. Best fishing session I've had in a while. I'm feeling really good right now. But it's all turned into a class four rapid pretty much. Cool area we can walk up to and I'll show you just how crazy the transformation of the river is. Pretty crazy. If the boat floated off, we would have no idea. The trees are covering everything, so. Feel the heat change immediately. Just immediately smug and holy crap we took bugs in, dude. Kinda getting used to how firm the old Boston Tea Party is. Strangely, it's kinda soothing. We absolutely slaughtered the Sholies. That was epic. We've been needing it. Personal morale is high. I would like to whack one on top water first thing in the morning off the top of the Boston Tea Party. Could be getting a little too excited off that little fish feeding frenzy. Either way, me and Tommy are about to get some shut eye. See you guys in the morning. <laughs> Not a bad view. I don't know what it was about last night, but probably the worst sleep I've got on the Boston Tea Party to date. We were floating last night and the water went back down. It kind of sat on the ground at a 45 degree angle and I just kept sliding down on top of Tommy. He didn't mind that much, but I'm just really not into that. I'm a married man, so either way, it was really brutal. You could feel the contour of the ground on your back. Not the best night of sleep, but the morning view kind of makes up for it.
feel like the bite is just really sluggish because this water is still hot. It's been cooling down a little bit, but I think we got a month where this top water really turns on. It's so frustrating because we caught all those fish yesterday in those pools. And I could see them up there feeding. There's just no way to get the old Boston Tea Party up there, and I really want to catch a fish off the top of the old girl. Yes. So cool. Dude. I, oh. As promised, we're headed to fish the falls, hoping for a little bit bigger bite. Maybe a PB shoal bass. I don't want to push too hard, but if she's there. Yeah, girl. Oh, oh, I landed on my Red Bull. And I could have potentially broke my left big toe. Oh, oh. fasten as a passion. Oh, oh, my big toe is in there just hanging, dude. Ah, oh. I'm about 80% sure I just broke my foot. But when the shoulders are calling, you push through. Holy smokes. Underwear's inside of me. Almost there. We're close. Oh. We have made it. Get there. Oh yeah. To the spillway. This little hole right here is my favorite fishing hole of all time. Could have broke my left toe or the bone right before your left toe. I ate it so good. I'm gonna try to flip every three inches in here. Find that elusive three pound sholey I've been hunting my whole life. Slow morning. Kind of a wake up call because we were destroying them every other cast yesterday. We got about 50 more yards of waterfall to fish. And I don't know if you've ever broke a toe, but it kind of feels like my toe has got icy hot inside of it right now. It's like burning and then it's cold and then... Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. This is what we needed. Oh, just a baby little spot. Set the hook, couldn't even tell if I was reeling a fish or just my lure. Appreciate you, buddy. Fighting decent. Oh yes. What is it? Oh, a sholey from the waterfall, baby. Don't go in the log, please. Come here, buddy. Yeah. He cranked it, man. Woo. Thank goodness. We've been fishing for an hour, stumbling over rocks, breaking big toes. Ah. This chunky little boy came out. Maybe a pound. All right, buddy. Thank you. Oh, we fished from that corner all the way down. Picked apart every two foot of the dam. Still alive. GoPro's on 1%. I'll take it. Good gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I have, bud. Came off. 
Holy shit, bro. That was huge. That was huge. I could do nothing with it then. That was the fish we came for. He's not eating after that. That concludes the end of the spillway Boston Tea Party send. Pretty good time we whacked some fish. This morning was sluggish. I don't know what I hooked into there at the end, but it was huge. Never felt anything like that. Could have been a freaking alligator. I don't know. I'm gonna be feeling that for a while. My heart's in my tummy at the moment. We got the motor up. We're gonna float through the Widowmaker stretch. Call it a day. Thank you guys for watching another video from the Boston Tea Party. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.